Tyeen, her sisters, and their mother travel with Yara Greyjoy's ironborn fleet through the narrow sea to lay siege to King's Landing. Obara and Nymeria casually joke about killing Lannisters, and mock Tyene for her interjections of Ilaria's wisdom. Shortly later, Yara's fleet is ambushed by the new Lord Reaper of Pike Yoron Greyjoy's Iron Fleet. Tyene and Ilaria flee below the deck while a skirmish rages above. Tyene fights to defend her mother but she is ultimately overpowered by Euron's men. Obara and Nymeria are killed while Euron takes Tyene, Elaria, and Yara prisoner. Euron proudly delivers Tyene and Elaria to King's Landing, bringing them to the feet of Cersei as a gift. Elaria spits at Cersei's feet, whilst Tyene stares defiantly at the Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. The two of them cautiously eye the mountain. Eventually, both Tyene and her mother are gagged and chained to the wall of a dungeon. After taunting Elaria about Oberyn's death and lambasting her for murdering her daughter Marcella, Cersei advances on Tyene, praising her perfect Dornish beauty, and musing she must be Elaria's favorite child by Oberyn. Elaria quickly realizes her captor's intentions and desperately tries to beg for her daughter's life, but being gagged, her pleas are unintelligible. Cersei muses that she contemplated having Gregor crush Elaria and Tyene's skulls the same way he did Oberon, but while poetic, in Elaria's case, it would be too quick. Cersei then mockingly says it also wouldn't be right to have Tyene's lovely face cracking open like a duck egg, as she removes the girl's gag and kisses Tyene full on the lips. Tyene desperately calls out for her mother before Kyburn gags her again as Cersei explains that Kyburn figured out the poison Elaria used to kill Marcella the same one she has used on Tyene. Kyburn assures Cersei that the poison will inevitably cause death, but how long depends on the strength of the victim's constitution. Cersei then gleefully informs a sobbing Elaria that she will now be forced to spend her days watching Tyene die and decompose before her eyes, promising Elaria they will keep her alive to do so even if they have to force feed her. Once Cersei is gone, both Tyene and Elaria try to reach one another, but with their chains too short, they are unable to embrace or comfort each other in her last hours.